the networking skill, which is uh, not just you know social media or LinkedIn's or the Insta's or the TikToks, right? The real network. The real network. Meeting it's basically, people in real time. Correct. I mean, basically, <laughs> being being able to communicate across the board, um, across different channels, right? So that net knowing people, that I think is a critical skill as well. I absolutely agree with you. So, um, Zora, as we know that you are an MD for the region, how do you spend a day? I'm curious, uh, and I'm sure people are too, and the youth must be curious what uh, an MD does through the day. What's a typical day? So I think, you know, it's a, it's a good question because I think, um, you know, I, when I when I rate a job, for example, right, so I look at four or five traits that I look for in a job. I mean, of course, finance has to be there. Everybody is doing a job for becoming financially more independent than before. That is fine. Mm -hmm. The job has to be fulfilling. It has to be challenging. It has to be motivating. Right. And it has to be a learning experience for you. Right. And one thing which I can say is that most probably my current position is has been uh, top scoring in at least four out of five of these assets of these uh, I would say trades right it's it's definitely the most fulfilling job that I've had in my career it's uh, the most learning that that I had and the work-life balance has been uh, one of the best I've had in my careers as well right so these this makes the job very attractive for me because every day you feel you are learning something new mm -hmm. it also feels that you are challenged and you have to find a solution you have to take a decision which will have a business impact and then when you do these things together, it becomes very fulfilling. And if, if attached to that, you can spend more time with your family. I would say that that makes the job holistically one of the best jobs that you can have. Right. So I'm alhamdulillah, very happy uh, with the work that we have been able to do in the last two, three years here. Right. Um, so generally, when you look at an MD's role, the MD's role is, is basically to provide the macro environment in which the business can grow. And that basically means that uh, the relationship with all the stakeholders around the business has to be developed, right? And these stakeholders would be, first of all, of course, your own team. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be, um, of course, the organization within your own company. It will be the customers that you are linked to very strongly. The customers who are, you know, uh, basically the part and parcel of our business that we do here. Uh, the regulators, you know, the, the government officials and all of the, those things, right? So mm -hmm. my day basically, as I would say, uh, for anybody in our company or generally most of the companies starts by looking at the emails, of course, right? And then you move on from there to looking at any fires that need to be fought that day. Because every day uh, when you look at a business which includes, you know, 800 people and all the business lines that you have, there is always some fires that are burning here or there that you need to find a solution to very quickly. And most of them require some kind of a risk assessment, whether it is financial, whether it is non-financial. And based on that, you have to take a decision. In some cases, you have to take advice from some other people around in the organization, within the region, within the area, within the company as well. So once those are done, then you start looking at uh, projects that you need to do to make things better for the employees in the region, in the country that you're managing. And that is something which you want to look for on a daily, weekly basis as well, right? So um, that is how the day goes, right? I mean, I would not say there's a fixed agenda <laughs> because you have a calendar and then suddenly something somewhere happens and you have to switch your attention quickly to that agenda, right? Uh, or one of the customers, for example, feels that there is a requirement for something to be given more attention to that day. So you suddenly move to that side, right? And so it changes on a daily basis. Uh, sometimes the priorities would be more internal focus. Sometimes the priority will be more external focus, right? But I have learned and I continue to learn on a daily basis in this job. And I think that is something which I'm really relishing because that's something which is enriching my own personal performance. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, right? I mean, it's fulfilling because whatever you are doing, mm -hmm. it is actually benefiting or letting you do something that you think is going to have an impact one way or the other, small or big, on the country's uh, level as well, or the people of the country as well, or the employees who belong to the same country that you do, right? So I think that uh, motivates you a lot. And that I think ends up combining this whole experience into a very fulfilling experience, right, for me. So I think every day I go home thinking that I have done something which has made the life of the people that work for us here 
or the business that we have better than the day before or better than the month before right and if i can if i can do that then i think it's an excellent job so far excellent uh, okay so quickly um since you you've taken up this role how has the region evolved in terms of improvements and considering the company is um, ambitiously aiming at going net zero before 2050 mm -hmm. uh, how has your region contributed to it since you you've taken up the role again very very good question so you've researched it very well right so i think you know listen i mean uh, i came uh, to this position in 2020 right beginning mm -hmm. of 2020 right and and immediately after that it the the business globally changed forever right it did. Um, the first six months of my position i was actually managing uh, the location from jakarta from my previous uh, location okay and what is surprising is because of covid everybody was working from home and a lot of my customers did not know that i'm not in the country because oh the physical barriers had been broken you know you're basically communicating online uh, certainly the way of doing business changed completely right so we went through a couple of tough years in terms of uh, the covid pandemic and you know the business had to be shrunk as well uh, and then we uh, went through the up cycle which we are hopefully still going through as well and that had its own challenges because when you shut down some businesses then you have to start the businesses all over again and during this whole process you have to take decisions to make sure that you can retain as much of the talent as you have. Uh, you, you want to make sure that the people who are working for the company in the country uh, continue to have their jobs. And then you have to make sure that as the business starts growing up again, you do it safely, you do it securely. Mm -hmm. So it has its own challenges as well. Uh, you have to stay very close to your customers. So you continue to be their partner of choice based on your performance, based on your safety record. So all of the last three years have been, you know, a challenge combined with the COVID. Then you had the up, upturn coming up. Then we had the unfortunate event of the floods last year as well, which I would consider as a, as a major challenge because it happened in a large chunk of areas where we operate. Yes. So we had to take that challenge to make sure we support the communities and the families that work for us over there. But I have to give the credit to my team. I think over the last three years, the resilience, the hard work that the team has shown, I think uh, we have been able to to make sure that the business not only sustains, mm -hmm. but it is able to grow and it is able to grow in a, in a manner which is uh, looking forward to be a very uh, positive sign for the company in the country mm -hmm. and, and for the coming years as well. And that is something which I take full pride in. I think the team that, that uh, was able to come together, face all these challenges, make sure that our employees stay safe, make sure they are sustained, they are preserved, and then the upturn happens in a safe and a secure manner. And the business opportunities are, are growing as we speak, right? I think we're very happy with the success here. The second part of your question, which is about the net zero. Yes. Right, so I think, I mean, listen, I think uh, we are going through a transition phase. First of all, I think the climate or the environmental responsibility is everybody's responsibility. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind about that. And our company is very strongly uh, believing in this. And then, I mean, you cannot have a stronger belief on this subject when actually the net zero graph becomes your logo, right? I mean, that's Absolutely. the sort of an, uh, I would say the embodiment of the belief that we have in this yes. vision, right? But it's going to be a transition. It's not like a light switch that you can turn off and turn on tomorrow, right? Oh, I absolutely agree. Right? So the transition which is happening, everybody has to play a role. So what we have to focus on is to continue the business we are in, but in a more responsible fashion, which means that every next barrel of oil or gas that we produce, for example, mm -hmm. has a lower carbon footprint than the one that we produced before. So um, you spoke so much about motivations and determination and evolution and all of that. Uh, my question, my quick question over here is, is motivation more important or discipline? Okay, I think motivation in the, in the direct, in the, in the correct direction is very important, right? So uh, you need to be motivated to do better. Now, many yeah. times this motivation can come from different factors, right? I mean, uh, financial, of course. Right. I mean, I fully agree with this, that there is no better motivation than the financial success, of course. Right. But I would 
um i would mention a statement that i read uh, i was reading uh, a book which was about from the lai lama right and he made a statement which has stayed with me right he said that happiness is not having all you want it is wanting what you have and i think that is something which is very important right it does not mean that you should not challenge yourself it does not mean that you should not push to grow more yeah. it does not mean that you should not outdo your competition encroach more increase your market share grow personally and grow organizationally as well right mm -hmm. what it means is that find what is your happiness right and mm -hmm. um, what is your zen as i call it right so i think this is where um, we need to understand as people because it's a philosophical question so as people we need to understand that everybody's zen is different so i'm um, talking about um, doing what makes you happy and um, being successful through that i have a question that if success was an equation um, if if i ask you to define success in an equation what three things would you put in that equation for it to equal to success hmm. so i think um, i will put definitely um, family first i mm. think uh, if you have everything else but your family is not um, content or happy or you don't have uh, the right equation at the family level i personally feel i might be wrong but i personally feel that that stress at the personal level will carry on and influence the other factors that may contribute to your success right mm -hmm. so i think family is important i think the financial independence is important right so i i mean and that independence could come uh, is defined by you right what do you think is the financial independence that you need right mm -hmm. but financial independence is important i think success uh, because that allows you to be more independent in your decisions right and i think that is where it allows you to be more successful as well right and i think third is um, fulfillment right i think it is a, and but fulfillment is a very broad term but it's basically um, something which makes you happy keeps you challenging and keeps you motivated right so i think if i have to add these things together if i if i am financially independent individual mm -hmm. who has a happy family okay and feels fulfilled in what i do okay i will consider myself as successful so a message to our youth is also that discipline is also important along with the motivation in right direction because um motivation alone won't get you anywhere if you if you don't have the energy or or the um determination to get up every day and put that motivation into work into something productive anything so that's, that's anything very that's very true add? i think you know as i mentioned you need to learn skills right and the skills that you need to learn are soft skills and the soft skills are communication like i mentioned but uh, time management right for example right and then um life management right stress management <laughs> change management true these are not the things that you are taught in your standard university courses right um you either learn them through mistakes mm -hmm. uh, by looking at your mentors or you can actually uh, be part of a, a curriculum that you can take right and and you need to equip yourself with these skills right time uh, stress change mental well-being this is going to be part and parcel of the jobs of the future right i mean i don't see a job in the future which will not be changing which will be stress free right and which will not cause one or the other forms of a mental well being scenario okay right mm -hmm. and if you are not disciplined and you don't learn how to cope with these pressures especially in an environment where social media the uh, you know the exposure is so strong you are always under a radar you're always under a microscope i think it even becomes more important for our youth to learn how to manage these kind of situations right so i think yes you're absolutely right discipline uh, will help you to keep your motivation in, in the, the right, right direction, direction. Yes. yes so thank you so much zoro thank you very much it thank was great much. talking to you and we learned a great deal Hopefully we'll do this again.